baby hello chucks my name is lauren and today i'm reading you one of my favorite books as a little kid called paddywhack and cozy it's about a cat and i really hope you like it here we go paddywhack is the prince of a cat a heartthrob a bit of a snob very smart in his neat black suit and his little white shirt and socks and all day long he sits in the sun and washes himself with a sticky lick tongue But yesterday was a terrible day. Sally came home with a big blue box. A box that bumped and shivered and shook. A box with a noisy feet inside. Paddywhack yawned and slid off his chair. He sniffed at the box with the noisy feet. The lid flipped up and out came a whisker. And two and three and four and more of another cat. Oh no. But what a cat! A laugh of a cat. A fat, round, kind of a dumpling cat. With a black bit here and a white bit there. Floppy around the tummy and big, great paws. Aww. Sally said, Here you are, Paddywhack. A friend for you. Paddywhack hissed and arched his back. Flapped off his tail and spit, spit, spat ran through the cat door on out in the rain i'm never ever ever going home again oh he's no good the new cat ran to the fireplace she climbed up the chimney in great distress when sally pulled her down she had soot on her face patty Rock crawled under the garden shed i'm never 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 going home he said The new cat hid in the sewing box and made a secret nest of yarn and socks. Paddywhack climbed up the apple tree. I'm never, never, never going home, said he. The new cat ran upstairs, lost and scared, squeezing under the dusty beds and sneezing there. Paddywhack howled on the garden wall. I'm never, never, never going home at all. The new cat found the cellar, dark as dreams, and tiptoed round the shadows where she couldn't be seen, and cried in the corners all alone, and Sally cried too. I used to have two, I used to have one cat, I thought I'd have two, and now I've lost them both. I've lost my little slim cat, my heartthrob, my bit of a snob, and I've lost my new cuddle cat, my laugh of a cat, my silly cat. I thought I'd have two cats, and now I've got none. Aw, poor Sally. When all the house was sleeping, the new cat crept up the cellar steps, just stood on her face and yawned on her tail, fluff on her fur, and a cobweb on her whiskers, and her feet were filthy. I'm a mess. She climbed into the closet, warm as a pocket, secret as a whisper, and purred herself to sleep. <sighs> when outside was too dark and cold for anything, Paddock pushed open his cat door, I'll just come in for some shelter from the rain. But as soon as it stops, I'll run away again. His fur dripped muddy puddles up the stairs. He had twigs in his tail and leaves round his ears. And his socks were black as boots, but he didn't care. He found his favorite den, the warm closet. He could hardly climb in. He was so cold and tired. He heaved himself up and found something as cuddly as a cushion to lay his head on. Something as comfy as slippers to warm his feet by. Mmm, cozy, he sighed. Ah, paddywhack, cozy purred. And the next morning, they licked each other clean. The end. I really hope you like that, and I hope you get better really, really soon. We all love you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.